So this is our brother Ace. Uh, he just visited us today. Mashallah, he's been looking into Islam for a few months already. Yep. Has a few family members that, that he know of who are Muslims or in friends and mostly he's been doing a lot of research. So what we'll do is just like review what we have talked about and okay. uh, what Islam is about and what it entails. And inshallah, begin the process of verbalizing your testimony of faith, right? Okay. So which is basically you transferring what you have in your heart and verbalizing it in front of us using the words that Allah, the God Almighty, has prescribed for us to verbalize in that fashion. Right? And from there, we'll start the journey as a new Muslim, inshallah, God willing. So, my brother, uh, Islam, essentially, the first and foremost important thing is for us to realize uh, that our Creator is the One, right? who is not a human being, He's all-hearing, all-seeing, very kind, very merciful, right? And from that mercy and from that justice is that He has sent down guidance for us that if we were to follow that guidance, we would be happy and we'd create peace and harmony in the society. And based on our submission, our love, our dedication and our desire to follow that guidance and our attempts to follow that guidance is that we pass on from this role to our graves, and after that, there is an afterlife. That afterlife is a place where everyone is fully recompensed, right? Part of God's wisdom and justice is that not everyone will be fully recompensed here, right? Because you see a lot of things go by and you can't establish full justice in this world, right? You have rich people, poor people, kind people, greedy people, right? True. But eventually, full justice will be established, right? based right. on the mercy of God and justice of God. And that is when we head towards paradise. There's this amazing, nice place where you don't have to work. And it's all about vocation and retirement and true vacation. It's not an old age retirement, it's a young age retirement, right? But it's not cheap, right? It's not cheap, but it is easy for whoever God, Allah makes it easy for, but we have to strive for it. And on the other side, there's, this, there's a reality which shows God's ability to punish people, to take retribution, and that is the opposite extreme, the opposite extreme, which is the hellfire, right? And there will be people who will be in it forever, right? But God is much, much, much more merciful than you and I. That's true. Right? So the all the entire mercy in the world is just one part of the hundred parts of God's mercy. So imagine how merciful God will be, right? So if someone is destined for that, if someone ends up there, then that's their own choice and it would not be an injustice from God. Okay, so having said that, uh, now basically as you, you already know the five pillars of Islam, yeah. right? Which is the five essential things that Islam is built upon, mm -hmm. right? And when we follow that, that's a manifestation of our belief, right? True. So if you trust in someone, if you believe in someone, you would look up to them, you would look, what should I be doing for happiness? What should I do? for peace in the society, right? And part of that is the first pillar after the verbalization, which is the five daily prayers, okay. right? And that is what we will be starting with, right? So the idea is not for you to be perfect in your Arabic as we are talking about, it's not about pronunciation, so you don't have to worry about okay. that. The idea is for you to, because if you trust in God, if you know that success is from God, right? The blessings are from God, right? you to be able to pause your work, pause your friend, pause your entertainment. And when the time for that formal meeting with God comes, you can pause those things and show up for that meeting. Whether it's at a mosque, at your home, on the street, at work, what have you. And have a conversation with God, right? Following the basic structure that He has described, right? So that's the thing, my brother. Um, so a couple of other things to remember as well. It's just like, now, it's your responsibility for you to go on that path, right? We're all going to be helping you, yep. right? So what would happen is, like, typically, like, you know, when you go out of here, a lot of people are trying to sell you stuff, right? True. Buy this, you know, get on this education program, buy this car, take this vacation package, right? Yep. Have you seen anybody talking to you about God? Nope. Right? Maybe, like, 0.5%, 0.1% interaction would be about God, right? Which means that you have to surround yourself with right people, right content, right? And a plan that you are connected with that concept of God and the hereafter. So you're taking a few steps. You don't have to take like, you don't have to start running, 
but you don't have to start going backwards either. True, true. Right? And that will happen. So we'll try to put a few apps on your phone, right? Which will tell you the prayer times, how to read Quran, daily inspiration. So typically we give Muslim Pro and Prayer Space. Those are two amazing apps. Oh. And then, you know, we hope to see you at least once a week, right? So that we can see where you are, maybe agree on a few steps. Okay. Right? And Mukhtaria is one of our team members for New Muslim Care. Awesome. Right? So we're going to start that process, inshallah. Okay? okay? So now, if you believe that there's only one God, right? And there's no one like Him, He's all merciful, He's all just, He's all knowing, He's all seeing. And there's no other human being that's like Him. Not even Jesus, peace be upon Him, or Muhammad, peace be upon Him. They are only men and messengers of God. So they teach, they taught us the way that we should be worshiping God. Right? So Jesus came, peace be upon him, for a time for his people. Right? He left. Then the last prophet Muhammad came for the entire humanity. His message is for everyone and it has been preserved by God. Right? So following the message of Muhammad does not mean that we are denying Jesus or Moses or Abraham or any of the previous messages. But those messages, those texts are not accessible to us. Right? They're not preserved verbatim. So the last book is Quran and the teachings of Muhammad that have been preserved for us, which acknowledge and approve and testify to the messengership of Jesus, Moses, Abraham, and all the previous prophets. So if you believe in Muhammad as the last prophet and slave of God, Quran, the book of God, right? Uh, knowing that you know God is able to do everything, everything that exists or happens is by the permission of God, even if it may be painful or blissful, right? Even if it's painful, it's a short-term pain or a short-term calamity, but there's a longer or a greater wisdom behind it, right? And that there's life after death. And there's paradise and there's hellfire, right? So that's the essence of the belief of Islam. So what we'll do is now we verbalize that belief okay. in Arabic, using the words that God Almighty has sent down and taught us, and also repeat it in English, okay? okay? And that would be your formal entry into Islam. And that's all that we see from the externals. And what's inside is for you and the you and God. Okay. So repeat after me. Ash hadu. Ash hadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa ash hadu. Wa ash hadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammad. Muhammad. Rasulu. Rasul. Allah. Allah. Wa ash hadu. Wa ash hadu. Anna, Anna, Isa, Isa, Abdullahi, Abdullahi, wa Rasulu, wa Rasulu. So what you have essentially said is, I bear witness, I testify. I te so the so I, I bear witness, I testify that there is that there is no God, no God, no deity, no deity, worthy of, worthy of, deserving of, deserving of my full worship my full worship my utmost love my utmost love my utmost fear my utmost fear hope and submission hope and submission except except Allah Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that Muhammad Muhammad is the messenger is the messenger and slave of Allah and slave of Allah and I bear witness and I bear witness that Jesus that Jesus is a messenger is a messenger and slave of Allah and slave of Allah congratulations brother thank you sir Allah Allah bless you. I like keep it steadfast and make it easy journey for you. Uh, you stick on to it and you keep growing. Awesome. Thanks. Okay? So Thanks. We can work on to get you a few apps and we'll plan for you, inshallah. Oh, okay.